have to go through your presentation. The judges will have a little bit more to talk to you. So you're talking either about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes that you may have um, the judges there. That's the judges and they will know and um, I do, they have, they're on that page I showed you earlier, they have sort of a rubric that they check you by and it's similar to, I'll show you guys, I'm going to pass this around, I have two of them, but this is kind of what they're using to judge you by. Remember some of the things they're going to check you is um, some of the things we talked about in your presentation. I asked one of my faculty who has been a judge, and he, he, I asked him, so what is some of the things you look at? Like right off, he says, right off, I look at how the poster looks and whether I can kind of understand it. And he says, he's political science. He goes, but I have judged history. Mm -hmm. I have judged engineering. So your, one of your judges may not be with, the group, with your academic background and that can happen so he gets that so he under, he says I, if I can't understand it then they can't talk to me obviously that's going to lose point if they I don't understand but they can explain it to me then I kind of negate some of the not understanding their poster so that's how things judges look at so first of all let's talk about dress you always dress one better than the occasion so if you're going to something and they say, you know, they say, well, it's casual. If you're presenting, go one better. You know, we, I, we had a graduate student, we fought with him. He would wear a Hawaiian shirt, shorts, <laughs> and, and sandals to present. And we would yell, I said, you cannot wear that. And he'd go, well, this guy, he does it all the time. I said, yes. And that guy's a Nobel scholar. He can, in his years, do that. You are a graduate student. You don't dress that way because you will not be finding a job. You will really upset people. Sorry, it's the way of the world. You know, look at you know, just look at the politics here. Did we argue about one person wearing pantsuits and one person having an orange face? People do look at what you're wearing. It's the first impression. We can't help it. I can't help it. But always dress one better. But be comfortable. Don't wear something that you're not going to like. Uh, particularly, this may fall in the more realm for maybe high fashion wear. So, um, you know, uh, girls like to wear these super high platform shoes. You're going to be standing all day. Um, I, I guess if you're a supermodel, that's important to you. But as a college student, I would be wearing something. I mean, I'm not saying you can't wear, obviously, sneakers. But wear something that has a nice sole that you can stand in. You want to wear heels, that's fine, but wedges for girls are much better, right? Dress comfortably, just dress business couch. Nice slacks, um, guys, it, it, you know, ties. If you want to have, you know, it'd be nice if you have the jackets, but I'm not telling you to go out and buy jackets for this. But, you know, a nice tie, nice suit, or a nice shirt. Just try to watch whatever you're eating that day. Because unless you, you know, want to throw a jacket on to cover the spot because something spilled, you know, you might want to consider, you know, what you're wearing. Next thing is to speak clear, slow, and proper volume. I have a problem sometimes speaking slow. I know I talk at rapid pace, and the more excited I get, the more rapid I get. Um, but you do want to go slow. You know, you do want to try to modulate. That's the elevator speech. To try to calm yourself down. Speak clear and speak proper volume. It